Hi guys, I have another paracord bracelet tutorial for you today. This one is the boot lace paracord bracelet. I like its elegant simplicity. It has an attractive front side and also a pretty good looking back side. So you can wear this bracelet either way. I'll be making a 20 centimeter or 8 inch example bracelet and to do that I'm going to use two pieces of paracord and each piece is 180 centimeters or around about six feet in length and the first thing we are going to do is measure out the length of the bracelet and then add in enough to tie a button so that will come out to around about 45 centimeters or 18 inches so just pinch it off there and then we'll shift this around and these strands down here will become the core strands and we'll be doing the weaving with these longer strands here at the top. So we'll start off by tying a cobra knot and I'll do that by taking that left hand strand over the two center strands and then the right hand strand over that and then I'm going to take this behind and up through that left loop now I just want to leave these loops open and then I'm going to take the end of this strand here and come up through that left loop and pull that all the way through and then I'm going to take the end of this strand and I'm going to come down through that right loop now I can draw this together and I just want to locate this top horizontal strand and pull it up and that will form our loop for our loop and knot closure so just pull a little bit out we want that loop to be about a centimeter or one inch and then we can start our weaving so the pattern on this bracelet the right hand strand here is going to form the crossbars that run down the length of the bracelet and this left hand strand will form the accents that run down the sides and the pattern is pretty easy so to start it off we are going to form an S shape over the two core strands by forming a bite here on the left and a bite here down the bottom right I'm going to take this right hand strand over that S just run it diagonally across I'm going to take this strand around the back and up through that right loop. And pull that all the way through. And then we can close down that S and also take the slack out of that right hand strand and push the knot to the top so it's basically that same pattern all the way down the bracelet I'm going to take my left strand and form that S shape and I'm going to take this right hand strand across the top I'm going to take this behind and up through that right loop and again we can tighten that up just close that S down and take the slack out of that crossbar
So take your time in tightening this up. The hardest part will be trying to get all of these lobes here on the edges to line up. So just take your time and make sure that they run nice and parallel all the way down the bar. So I'll do one more. We'll form that S shape with the left strand and then take the right strand across and I'm going to take it behind and up through that right loop. And again pull the slack out of that S and also the crossbar. So then all we need to do is repeat that pattern all the way down the bracelet. Once we get to the end here, I'm just going to lock this off with a cobra knot. So to tie the cobra knot, just take your left strand over both of those center ones. Take your right strand over that. And then I'm going to take this behind and up through that left loop. And then we just need to tighten that right down. And we can cut and singe these excess pieces off and then tie a button down here at the bottom. I'll just show you one side. Cut the excess off. Grab a lighter. And just melt the end. And then I like to just press it flat with the edge of the lighter. So you can repeat that process on the other side. As a button you can tie the diamond knot which is a popular button to use on the paracord bracelets. I'll leave a link for the tutorial either here on the screen somewhere or in the description. I'm going to tie a simple toggle button here and to do that we'll take this right hand strand and form a loop by coming in underneath both of those two center strands and I'm going to take this left hand strand and form a loop and come in above those two center strands. I want to take the right strand up through the right loop and I'm going to take the left strand and I'm going to tuck it down through that left loop. And then I'll tighten this up just by pulling the strands directly outwards. And then all we need to do is cut off these excess pieces here and we should be finished. So here we are with the finished bracelet, the front side and back side. If you could share this video around your social media, that would be great because that allows me to keep creating free tutorials for you guys. Thanks for watching, thanks for sharing, and I'll see you on the next video.